writing a formation equation or reaction, you want to begin by writing one mole of product and then you want to identify the elements that you need in order to make up the compound and write them as the reactants in their natural states. The, and then we're going to balance the equation and then recalculate the coefficients so there's only one mole of product. So if I wanted to write the formation equation for this, first I would write it as my product and then I'll draw my yield sign. Each element that makes up this compound I'll place on the reactant side in its standard state. So we have carbon, which is generally in the solid form at 298 Kelvin and one atmosphere, which is like room temperature, plus hydrogen, which naturally exists as a diatomic in the gas phase, plus oxygen, which also naturally exists as a diatomic in the gas phase. And so these are the elements that form this product, hence formation reaction. Now we need to make sure the equation is balanced. We have one carbon on the left, two carbons on the right. So I'll place a two here. We have two hydrogens on the left, but a total of six hydrogens on the right. So I'll place a three here, three down two is six. And then we have one oxygen on the right, but we have two on the left. So that would make me place a two here. However, this has changed my carbons and my hydrogens. So now I need to recalculate. Now I have four carbons, so this will become a four. And now I have six times two is 12. And so we'll change this to a six times two is 12. So now we have a balanced equation, but we need to make sure that our product has a coefficient of one. There should only be one mole of product. So in order for this to be one, I need to divide everything by a two or multiply this entire equation by one half. So I need one half of the carbon, I have one half of the hydrogen, I need one half of the oxygen, and I need one half of the alcohol. And so 4 divided by 2 is going to give me 2 carbons in the solid phase, plus half of 6 is 3 hydrogens in the gas phase, plus we're going to leave this 1 half O2 in the gas phase yields, and then this is going to give me 1 alcohol as my product. And this would be the correct formation reaction for ethanol. And so if we look at the multiple choice options below, then we would select letter B. You'll notice the two little lines there is one half, the same thing as one half.